Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur, and today we are going to be taking a look at the teaser trailer that was brought out on uh, The Extra Life. Uh, if you haven't seen yet, I did a video talking about all the sneak peeks that they did do. Um, those are down, that, that video will be down in the description. If you have not seen that yet, I might recommend it uh, just because it goes through all these different things that we might talk about, uh, and I might not specifically get into the whys, the whats, and my thoughts around it as much. Uh, but basically, I want to kind of react to the trailer, talk about different things that I might see or catch that might lead us to know what we've got going in the future. So uh, I said I would do this video, so we're going to go ahead and do it, and let's go ahead and check it out. So first off, I want to talk, I know I'm pausing right off the bat, um, we did talk about uh, in the trailer that we have a Federation suit, the tech suit we're going to get right away, um, that's going to feed into the storyline. So this right here, I believe, is going to be kind of the awakening of what we do. You all kind of maybe start the same area uh, because we're on a massive ship. So this is where you'd probably get your tech suit on this one. You can see uh, we're getting the tech suit. It's locking down um, because it, as we alluded to, uh, it looks like... Um, Rockwell has taken over the ship and become part of the ship um, and tried to infuse it. So that's kind of what this whole, I think, beginning scene's meant to be. Because that's a Rockwell tentacle for sure. So this looks like the Welcome, tech trench, Scott. one of the biomes that they spoke about. These look like some huge Enjoy robots. Uh, it's going to be really cool to see you what see those look like. You. Quetzals, flyers, you can see all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is definitely that tech trench biome that they spoke about. Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty rough. There's going to be kind of some cool things down there, maybe some new tech stuff uh, down in that inventory section. But uh, what you can see is actually it looks like uh, you're on the uh, uh, on one of the rings uh, that they're talking about on the ship. Uh, you can kind of see maybe over here that you're actually on a ring uh, that's going to provide the the landscape that we're going to follow uh, it looks like there's about two rings possibly with different biomes uh, but this is the tech tr tech trench as they would like to call it uh it's got a lot of flatlands and it looks really nice on here um, with humanity. the lighting the sun element being this ball that shoots across the ship it's hopes and dreams carefully nestled so you can see again we're on a ring well within this lifeboat these are the striders. The shining cool. rings are laden. It's got the harvester Miracle. attachment. Science. So you'll see it just kind of drills it and just takes whatever it wants. Uh, those come with them, so you have to tame them every time you want more. Or different attachments, you have to tame a new one. And now all this is the Rockwell Garden stuff, I had to guess, for the bio. That's a cool little creature. I uh, get the Shadow Vein, so this is a female. Uh, if you didn't know, there's two different variances, female and male. Uh, this one's going to be really cool because that's a female. They have the ability to stealth. Males give a roar. It looks like a curve roar. I'm really interested to see what these these lightning bolts are, um, if they do damage, or if like you can harness them for energy or something maybe uh, is my guess. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what we can do with these light bolts or, or, or power bolts or something like this. It's destination. <laughs> My will shall spread across the cosmos. So that's actually the ship we can see right here. So right here you can see um, the ship and then the rings right here. So these are the rings where the biomes exist supposedly. And all the missions are going to be inside the ship. Forever, ever, in infinite and undying. And there's nothing you or that witless puppet, that shadow of her, can do to stop us. That's the Federation suit right there. Um, I believe this is going to be kind of part of Rockwell. Um, you can see this is kind of landing into the ship. I think what it is is the ship was supposed to go out uh, and examine things and, and go to other places. Uh, Rockwell is going to crash land into it and kind of take it over and become part of the ship. And this is kind of leading into that idea. Because you can see the Rockwell tentacles right there. I don't know if you caught that. Uh, let's see if we can just grab that really fast. I have already set my motion. Already set my so grab them. See Rockwell tentacles right here? 100 percent Tons of Rockwell tentacles. I have already set my design. So there's the rings that we talked about right here. But I'm wondering so the, this the, the ship shows ideas of this being the the lighting element uh, of the biomes that are on this ring. Um 
but it makes me wonder about like the lightning, like if there's like a power source, they, they alluded to a power source issue uh, on the stream. And I'm really interested to know if like the power source runs out, if you have to run a mission to get that light back, or as it stays maybe like eternally dark or something, um, would be kind of an interesting idea. Maybe uh, something you've got to do. Um, I'm really interested to know what this lightning effect does. So, by far coolest arc logo ever, how it really kind of absorbs into it with the Rockwell tentacle reaching in. Very cool. So this, I believe, is inside of Rockwell. They, they describe this as Rockwell's intestines or his insides. Um, and this looks like where the Noglins are. Uh, if you didn't know, these are mind control little guys. Uh, so my guess is you have to go inside and do a mission maybe to get the Noglins. Because they sound super powerful. This is also supposed to be the biggest map that they've done. It looks so cute and then does that craziness, yeah. It's, I think that's how it mind controls is my guess, because that's why it's got all those teeth. It just kind of latches onto you um, and comes out. So uh, if you didn't know, you can get your Noglin uh, Chibi right now if you wanted to. Uh, you can get um, that fun stuff if you have uh, the Season Pass already. Uh, it's supposed to come out in March 2021, so <laughs> let's be honest for a second. Uh, since it's Wildcard Studios with everything going on, if I had to guess, it's probably going to come out in you know July. Uh, <laughs> for my estimated guess, uh, it's going to come out for everything, which is really cool. Um, I'm excited for it. Um, I think there's a lot of story that's going to happen. I'm really excited that they have decided to split off the missions, uh, that they've decided to take them where the missions are inside the ship and the building areas on those rings and the biomes. So to go do the missions, you just have to go elsewhere. You don't do it in the building area. So it's not all mixed in where you only can build in certain spots on Genesis and stuff like that. Like it was in Genesis one was one of the biggest problems uh, with that. So I'm really excited to see that they did that. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with um, this is the end. Uh, they've pretty much blatantly said this is the last expansion for ARC. Uh, they're done here. Um, that's what they're calling the end is near. This is the end is what they're saying. Um, I've, I've done a poll on my thing. Most people think there's going to be an ARC 2. I would have to agree with most of those people. Uh, I do think there's going to be an ARC 2. Uh, I just don't see a way that they end the largest franchise that they have. Uh, is my opinion. I don't think you just end that and say, yeah, let's move on. You know, we had only made us, you know, X amount of dollars because ARC is way bigger than Atlas. I mean, Atlas probably made them a bunch because uh, so many people were excited for Atlas because of ARC, uh, but I don't believe... Uh, anything beyond that so uh, those are my initial thoughts um i've obviously seen this trailer before uh so i don't want to seem like you know too out of whack i just want to talk about what i see in the trailer what i see and what i think about based on what i know from the uh, sneak peeks and stuff when again if you haven't seen that go down below uh, uh in the description it'll be down there um please let me know what you think in the comments if you have anything that you caught that maybe i missed uh give us a time code so we can talk about it in the arc thing i also link the entire trailer down below if you just want to check it in one run through since I'm obviously going to be chopping it up because I'm sitting here watching it. Uh, but I'm super excited to see where this goes uh, and, and develops and uh, see the new stuff coming out because some of these creatures seem really strong uh, and it'll be a lot of fun to see. So, uh, And especially since it's the last patch or DLC, uh, I'll be excited to know what the future plans are or if it's just going to be done, um, which would be very surprising. I really would be shocked if ARC is just done. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you like it, make sure you give a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. And as always, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.